Hello everyone, this is Nikita. Thank you for joining me in this video. In this video, we will discuss about the implementation of a decision tree. In the previous video, we have uh, discussed what is a decision tree and what are the different things that you can configure. And if you have not yet checked out, please go and check out that video first and then come into this video. In this video, we will do the implementation of the decision tree. So let's get started. So in the first step, we would uh, go to a flow where we will call our decision tree. Okay, so let me go to my flow here in the approval flow. Uh, I will create a decision uh, shape. So whenever you need to call a decision table, tree, map value, all of these from, uh, this, uh, from a flow, you need to have the decision shape. Okay, so let me connect this connector with the decision shape and connect this with the assignment shape. So what I need to add in this decision uh, decision shape is first of all I need to select a decision tree and the rule name so the rule name is find the approver you can also add an audit node uh, which actually helps you to understand where your flow went okay so let me click on submit now click on save. Uh, before this approval flow, uh, this particular flow will be triggered, which is fill details flow. In this, I have a flow action. Uh, let me check, uh, let me remove anything in the post, uh, post flow action. Don't want anything to run here. Now we are set. We need to just create a case create the booking case now we need to fill in the detail before that let me go and show you the decision tree that we have okay so this is my decision tree let me set the correct value in this so if the duration of the event is greater than six i want to return vice president and if my duration of the event is greater than two then i want to return senior manager okay let me save this okay now i need to fill in the details number of guests time of event and duration of the event let me uh, give eight so that vice president gets selected before i submit i want to trace this session let me trace this okay and then do a submit in the tracer we will know whether my decision table got executed or not let me pause this now check for my decision tree you can see the decision tree got triggered and this is the value which i got as vice president okay i can also go in the py work page So you can see that I did not get any approver ID property here. Why? Because I have not set the value, the return value anywhere. Okay. So for that, uh, let me go to my flow. Where do I want to set the result? So result in approver ID. Let me submit this now save this and then i need to create the case again number of guests is two time of the event is 30 duration of the event let me give it as eight now i need to trace this and do a submit now check in the tracer Okay, I can pause this now and check for my decision tree. Yes, I see it here. So vice president is a result of the decision tree. But did it get saved in my property, which is approver ID? Yes, you can see the approver ID value is getting set. 
okay so that is great so my flow is calling the decision tree correctly but why do i see this problem flow work basket find the approver this flow is stuck none of the connector from the find the approver can be taken so the no connector with status vice president found so why it is saying is uh, because in this connector i have not specified uh, the result value okay so when the result is vice president i need to provide this here okay so when the result would have been something else like suppose give assignment here i'll connect this here and when the result is senior manager i want to have the different assignment okay i'll put an end shape i'll connect this to this end shape okay so it was looking for this assignment let me put in the flow action okay now everything is set now this is the flow uh, i should not get the problem flow work basket now let's check in again let's create a new case give the value time of the event duration of the event and trace submit okay so let me pause and uh, find the decision tree okay so the decision tree is here so did i get the problem flow work basket no you can see now the summary is coming correctly because so we have put the correct correct assignment and connector now okay so this was an implementation of a decision tree from a flow we can also call a decision tree from an activity or a data transform so let's try to do that so we have this flow action we will add another activity post fill details in this activity i will call the decision tree so the first one was decision table i will comment it out the second one is for the decision tree how do we call this there is a method called property map decision tree which i can use here so it asks for the property name where we want to set the value the decision tree name and the input input i did need not provide here but the property name where i want to set is approver id okay uh, you can check on allow missing properties and save that's it now my flow action i can save my flow action i'll remove this uh, decision uh, shape from here i no longer need this i can connect this here instead and save it okay now i will run this again and i will see whether my decision tree is getting called from an activity or not okay so for that i will uh, add the values okay number of guests time of the event and duration of the event maybe i'll give it as 5 okay now trace this submit always uh, start a tracer just before you want to submit okay now click on pause and find your activity as well as the decision tree okay so this is my decision tree which is getting called and uh, this is the start this is the end and this is the value which it's returning okay let me check if my approver id has the value or not yes my approver id is also getting set correctly this is what i expect uh, expected also make sure that you have uh, switched on your decision tree trace from here now this was the implementation of decision tree from an activity i can also call a decision tree from an data transform let me see how we can do this for that i will go to my flow action 
and instead of this activity i will call a data transform post fill details dt let me open this in this data transform you will see a step um, for the function call evaluate decision tree let me enable the second one and disable the first one okay so what we had done is we have clicked on this gear icon and we have uh, browsed for the function that we want so for decision tree i have searched like this so i found this which takes two parameter one is the primary page name and the other one is the string rule name so this is the primary and find the approver make sure you put a quotes before each because it takes string okay so this is what we had done now uh, let me run this okay now i will create a case again time of the event duration of the event i will give as 9 i'll trace this first and then do a submit okay let me see if i find my decision tree here or not yes i can find this here so this is the starting of my dt and it returns vice president let me see if it uh, saves the value in the approver id yes it's setting so it's correctly executing okay and you can see the summary here fine so we have called this from our data transform we can also call a decision tree from a decision tree okay so here you will see another option uh, of calling of calling a decision tree you can call a decision tree you can specify the name of the decision tree and then run it okay also another thing to note down is you should always try to do a unit testing of the rule okay let me show you how you can do that okay so let me save this and run when you do a run basically with whatever value you are specifying it will run this decision tree and it will show you what is the value that it will return suppose my duration of the event is 7 and i do a run again it shows me that this is what it will return this might look very uh, the very simple but when there are number of column number of condition embedded condition then this is very very helpful so always make sure you do a unit test before implementing uh, this decision tree somewhere in your application okay uh, also we can all delegate the decision tree as well as decision table for the business user how do you delegate them is you go to the actions and you will see an option of delegate you can specify the access group and the title and description after you specify this uh when that uh, particular operator with that access group logs in and they go to the configuration they will see different rules that has been delegated to them suppose this one right i can go and edit and the rule form which will open to me i can do the changes i can do a save okay so this can be done so this was the implementation of decision tree i hope this was useful to you i will come again with the next video on some very interesting topics soon till then take care and keep learning bye bye